What's up everybody? I'm MTG and today's a special day because we are going to be watching another death battle. It is the Mega Man Battle Royale. This is going to be very exciting. I'm a very big Mega Man fan. In fact, I have some things to show you. So I have a Mega Man Anniversary Collection for the GameCube. It's Mega Man's 1 through 10. I've only played 1 through 3 and I still haven't beaten them, but I will one day. And I have a 8-bit Mega Man little pixel pal. That's what it's called. That's a little collection I like to have. I also have some Mega Man shirts. I only have one of them out of the two. The other one's being washed. But I have a, this one right here. It's really, really like it. And then I have the one and only the Mega Man Buster, Buster replica. <laughs> These are really cool. These are really cool things to have. I even I even mained Mega Man in Super Smash Bros. for Wii and 3DS. And I did, uh, I wasn't like a pro or anything, but you know, it was very fun. It was very fun to learn everything. It was very fun to just play the game as Mega Man. Mega Man was really cool. Alright, so, I uh, can't talk for too long because this is, a, this is a, about half an hour of a video. So I have to make sure I can fit everything in in one, one go. Uh, so out of the five Mega Mans, I only know three technically. I've only played three. So I played the original Mega Man, I played Battle Network, and I played Star Force. Mega Man X... I've heard about like I've heard a lot about Mega Man X, but I've never I don't know anything. I know zip about Mega Man X, so that's that. And then um, I don't, the other I, don't, I can't I remember the last one. I'm not the one without the helmet, but I can't remember where exactly he's from. But if I'm gonna be honest, like if I make a prediction right now, I think Mega Man X already has this. Mega Man X has already been considered when he was built was supposed to be superior to the original Mega Man in every way. So it's kind of it's kind of hard to see like Mega Man like. Normal, normal Mega Man just to be in this. It's so weird. I don't, I don't think he has a chance. I think he's, I think he's screwed. I think he's stuck. He's not gonna win this. He's not gonna win this. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. And uh, let's just get right on to it. Uh, if you guys don't mind, <laughs> while this is going, I'm going to enjoy myself some. This lecherous cake because I'm in a very sweet mood right now. I need some, I need some sugar. Mm. I like the original Mega Man the best, so I, I kind of hope you win, but I really doubt it. And it's gonna be hard though. I'm on a four death battle win streak. I got four death battles right in a row. Now it's a battle royale. I really doubt I got this. This is gonna be really hard. Alright, let's rock. To kill them. Well, there are many versions of the character to choose from. <laughs> Not that one. This battle will feature the five most prominent. The classic era Mega Man. Mega Man X. Bullnut from the Legends. Bullnut. Battle Network's Mega Man. Mm -hmm. .exe and the alien Star Force Mega Man. Star Force. These wins and I'm boomstick. And it's our job this to should be fun. And skills to find out who would win. Uh, it goes over with me. Oh my god, no. I don't want to see them kill each other. In year 20XX, the brilliant Dr. Light would change history forever. Developing machines with AI so advanced it mimicked actual life. His goal was a world where robots and humankind could live together in trust and harmony. I want all you watching to remember that, because right off the bat, Light's partner Dr. Wiley reprogrammed the bots and tried to take over the world. Mm -hmm. Just the first in a lifetime of dick moves. To combat this threat, Light upgraded one of his... Oh, yeah, I know my hair looks a little weird. I just got out of the shower, so... The classic Mega Man. Let's rock. Classic, huh? What's next? Giant Mega Man? Cherry Vanilla Mega Man? Stop. Mega Man Zero? So one of those, technically, yes, but that's much later. Mega Man is armored with ultra-strong serotonin and comes equipped with the Mega Bus, a literal hand cannon for each... I just wonder... This is gonna be interesting because I want there ha one of these Mega Man's has to have something over the others that makes them suitable. That was the coolest part about Smash Bros. Oh yeah. 
with the center flash. Stop time with the time um, stop. And create localized singularities black with hole. the black hole bomb. I want to play that one, the black hole. Oh, that's right, and they gave him the double gear system. That's cool. Alright. This is gonna be sick. I was so upset when they had Mega Man vs. Astro Boy. I, I had I had a really bad feeling in my gut that Mega Man was going to lose, and I was right. Go figure. So it makes me upset, though. Oh, God. The animation is weird. I'm not watching that. Flash forward 100 years when the archaeologist Dr. Kane happened upon a sleeping blue android hidden deep within a ruined laboratory. Unlike the previous model, this android possessed free will indistinguishable from a human. This wasn't Mega Man. This was Mega Man X. Mm. This guy was built by the late Dr. Light to be better than the original Mega Man model in every way. Aware of the danger that such a powerful android could be, Light locked him away in a capsule that ran tests on his morality for 30 years. Yes. What better way to match decades of good boy training than wake it up to a worldwide war? Dr. Kane began mass replication of X, but his process was imperfect. Many of these reploid robots went maverick and embroiled the world in centuries-long warfare. Despite being a pacifist, X felt obliged to step in and help. His go-to is an X Buster, which can fire up single shots of condensed solar energy or charge up several times over for even more power. He also carries his partner Zero Z Saber, a beam sword that can reflect projectiles and cut through nearly everything. Okay. But he wouldn't be a true Mega Man without the ability to scan and copy other robots' weaponry. He has copied countless elemental weapons. So they can just have, like... They'll just copy every move they have. He can shoot out black holes, turn invincible for a short time, and create a clone of himself, which I really wish I could do. He can stop time and even resist similar effects when other robots try their own time stop. Wow. But when he gets serious, he breaks out his ultimate heart. You see, like, he's already, he's already flat, he's flat out already better than Mega Man. So mean to put Mega Man to die again. Nice. <laughs> That's cool. is what the X in his name refers to. The X factor that is his limitless evolutionary potential. Which is your typical anime bullshit. Powered by love or friendship or puppies or whatever, X has completely regenerated from near death and even reformed his whole body. He's a regenerate. Oh. Like he's already broken. Sad new. X has defeated dozens of Mavericks, including the General. The general once tanked a planet destroying laser, the energy of which would require 50 seconds. Remember, they had the Zero vs. Metal Sonic death battle? That was so in Zero's favor. Like, there was no way Metal Sonic was going to win that. And survived channeling enough energy through his body to annihilate all of Japan. After years of fighting, he managed to destroy his arch enemy, the Sigma Virus, with his most powerful weapon yet, the Mother Elf, aka the latest thing to join our Hall of Fame of terrible, terrible names. Awesome stuff. <laughs> the Mother Elf is like a living antivirus software that can heal X's wounds, increase his power, and completely rewrite a Reploid's code, giving him complete control over cybernetic beings. That's how he defeated the Sigma virus, by erasing it from every Reploid in the world all at once. What? And the day was finally saved. Well, it the Mother Elf was corrupted and the biggest war ever broke out all over again, but for the ultimate peacekeeper, X sure spent a lot of time kicking ass. I 
can't believe they used that game. That game sucked. It's okay. Thousands of years later, the world was consumed by a great flood. Humanity was all but extinct. The world got so shitty, the man in the sky himself had to step in and flush that thing. All that remained on the planet was a race of artificial life forms known as carbons. But some of humanity survived in the orbital space station, the Elysium. This station housed the Master System, a computer program designed to control the carbon's population on Earth. But over time, all the humans on board died. Except for one, the Master, and his assistant, a carbon known as Mega Man Trigger. Since the carbons were basically the only humanoid life forms left in this super set, well, which one is this one? Is this Volnite? Free reign of the planet, so he told Trigger to destroy the Master System. Though I'm pretty sure Nintendo already did that. Despite being a purifier unit designed to protect the Master System, Trigger obeyed. But thanks to this chick Sarah, he got his robo butt whooped hard, lost all his memories, and got turned into a baby. Sealed away for years, he was eventually that. discovered by carbon diggers who named him Volant. And thus began his journey to stop the Master System, battle pirates, and trigger his lost memories. See what I did there? Stop. Well, gotta talk about something you said there. Why did they name him Volant? What a dumb name! The only thing dumber than that name was that stupid pun that you made. Well, to save the day, Volnut has, surprise, surprise, the Mega Buster. And he can switch out his right arm for a bunch of special weapons, like a machine gun. Jeez, a, a lot of weapons for one arm. Grenade, mines, a sword, a reflector shield, and his most powerful weapon of all, the Shining Laser. Huh. It's a laser that shines, like, a lot. It, it, it's good. He wears armor <laughs> which lets him cover for extra speed, and also shields that can make him briefly invulnerable and invincible. That's it? No stopping time or parting black holes out of his butt? I get not that bad. Well, most of these weapons pull from the same energy source rather than separate pools, and they each need to be swapped out manually. Yeah, uh, starting to think we found Diet Mega Man. <laughs> Don't underestimate him. Volnut is a charming hero with a lot of power. He can lift 9.5 ton stone blocks, move fast enough to evade meteors, which Ooh. re-enter Earth's atmosphere at Mach 33, Jeez. and even tank them head on. That's a kinetic energy equivalent to 38 tons of TNT. Yeah, but... He's defeated scores of giant mechs and even Sarah in a rematch for the ages. All in a day's work for Mega Man Volnut. <laughs> Don't worry, Yuna. Why? I know Rose. She'll come looking for us. This game. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't try and pull that happily ever after crap. Humanity went extinct. The planet is flooded. And the last Mega Man is stuck in space forever because Legend 3 is never going to happen. That peaceful future Dr. Light fought so hard for turned out to be total bullshit. And if you think about it, it's all his fault. Love and peace are lies. God is dead. And we're all totally <laughs> Maybe in this timeline, but luckily... There is another. Ooh, I like where this is going. I like this. Let's go all the way back to the year 20XX. <laughs> Imagine, instead of revolutionizing science with robotics, Thomas Light focused on computer science and created a world dominated by the internet. Okay, these are alternate AI. timelines. Oh, and his name was also Tanshi Peacock. Oh. oh, great. The AI overlord timeline. Hey, Siri, please don't kill everyone and take over the world. I didn't catch that boomstick. Oh, God, it's already happening. Ahem. The internet infrastructure Hikari worked on was so complex, it became its own separate universe known as the Cyber World. Huh. This unpredictable digital universe was managed by sentient computer programs called NetNavis. Reminds me of those uh, digital Pokemon. Well, it's called again. Stop. Hikari had a grandson named Land. Yes, that's really his name. Wow. And Land had one of the best NetNavis around, Megaman.exe. Together, they became the most successful virus-busting duo in both the real yes, and yes, cyber world, viruses. and saved both countless times. EXE can shoot foes down with his regular or charge shots with his, yes, you guessed it, Mega Buster. Yeah. He can fly with his Mega Booster. Because he's all the time. No wonder X. No wonder X is already better. Mega Booster. Okay, maybe he doesn't have that lift. This is his true strength, however, lies in land enormous. 
numerous collection of battle chips, yes. which contain a variety of different weapons and tools for EXE to use. He has over cool. 1,500 of these. My God! You know the drill by now. He's got cannons, shotguns, spread guns, mini bombs, big bombs, time bombs, shockwaves, earthquakes, meteor swords, two net boomerangs, and an incredibly deadly yo-yo. Yes. That doesn't even scratch the surface. Uh -huh. He can create black holes, move yes. objects with telekinesis, Ooh. turn intangible and invisible, oh. dispel force fields, resist having his name assimilate, uninstall customized programs and weapons data in enemies, and use Giga Freeze to put programs and even the whole internet in stasis. Oh my god. How is this going to work? Might have to break out Boomstick.exe and kick his ass. How do I hold him for this little bastard? Good luck getting past EXE's defenses. His dark aura is a barrier so tough, it could survive the end of the entire cyber world. And since EXE is a digital program, not an organic being, he survived being impaled, losing limbs, and even being blown to bits before pulling himself back together. Wait a minute, if he's just a program like you said, can he even fight in the real world like other super fighting robots? He's done so before. He can enter the real world through special dimensional areas, or through sheer power output alone. He can even merge body and mind with land using full synchronization, a technique only possible if both beings have a strong mental bond. Fusion! Ha! Well, turns out EXE and Lynn are super close because, blood twist, EXE is Lynn's stillborn dead baby brother turned into a computer program. Oh! Yeah, well, when they bond perfectly, they enter Hub Form, a state powerful enough to defeat Nebula Grey and the Dark Galaxy Universe with just a wave of its hand. EXE is tough enough to survive a This is gonna be weird because who's gonna hack one another? No! I just stick with one. To search practically the entire cyber world in less than a minute. We're still missing one, by the way. And recreate the same cyber world in a Star Wars. We're missing Star Wars. Okay. After all of that, Land retired from virus busting to become a scientist whose research would play a part in the next generation of Mega Man. Aww. Pretty impressive for a guy who spends all his time jacking off. <laughs> I'm sorry, Wizzy. We had to work that in. I understand. That voice acting. <laughs> oh my god, Mega Man. If Mega Man has one thing wrong with everything, it's TV shows. 200 years later, the world had yet again progressed. This time with the advent and proliferation of electromagnetic, or EM, wave technology. Which is a fancy way of saying they switched their main resource from internet cyberspace to basic radio waves. Well, at least radio waves will never try to take over the world and commit genocide. Oh, you say that now. This is Geo Stellar, the son of astronaut Kelvin Stellar. Oh, okay, first land, now Kelvin, his names are killing me. But anyway, Kelvin got lost in space after being attacked and captured by a race of aliens made of electromagnetic waves known as FMians. Like FM radio aliens. FMians. Uh, luckily for Kelvin, he made friends with an EM alien kitty thing named Omega Zis who yes. tried to help him escape by zapping him into radio waves. It wasn't the best idea ever. Yeah? But eventually Omega and Geo met up and merged together to become Star Force Mega Man. The worst thing. This transformation, Geo acquired and amplified all of Omega. He's probably the coolest looking one. Like, mainly as a being composed of like Ome waves, Omega? Mega Man Omega like, definitely looks the coolest. Though the latter usually requires conscious thought to activate. He can also fly, teleport, survive in space, uh. turn living beings into EM waves, and manipulate data itself to control other machines. Oh, oh my god, no, I don't want this to be a cute little Yeah! Guy. Now he's a radio alien <laughs> Well, he still has oh my the god. Master, which does exactly what it did the last four times. Moving on. Actually, this Mega Buster is a bit different. Not only does it charge automatically when not in use, huh. it can be modified with different wizard equips, no relation, to change its power, speed, and status effects. Yeah. Uh, it would have been a lot better if it had boomstick equips. Well, I'm sure there's something boomstick related in Geo's nearly 600 battle cards, which provides Star Force Mega Man with numerous special weapons. The many guns, swords, hammers, axes, scythes, bombs, missiles, lasers, meteors, shockwave, a crap ton of elemental attacks, and when all else fails, he can just use his bare hands. Yeah. He can paralyze foes, drain their health, summon black holes, Man, turn invisible, I'm about to get in this battle. Wounds, and I'm still lost. Summon other I don't know who's gonna win this. And control noise. Control noise? So like when my neighbor plays music really loud, he can just turn it off with his mind? No, but. I thought you lived in a trailer in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, man. Animals are getting smarter. Right. Ugh. Noise is excess energy created by EM beings, kind of like static. When utilized properly, it 
It can cause machinery malfunction similar to an EMP, drive EM beings insane, and, if he absorbs enough of it, allow Geo and Omega to change into even more powerful forms. I forgot, he's got these two forms. His greatest form is Red Joker, which can fire the Red Gaia Eraser, a huge laser that'll reduce your body to EM particles and shoot them across the atmosphere Ooh. while you're still conscious. Talk about one hell of a way to go. With all these powers and more, Geo and Omega have the resume to match. They've defeated dozens of enemies, including Sirius. Ha, we got her! Damn, who was powerful enough to move a black hole hundreds of millions of miles in a single day. The black hole in question was Sagittarius A, which has a mass four million times greater than the sun. Factoring in its mass and the speed it traveled, mm, we can get a kinetic energy of This is so stupid. Of TNT, enough to <sighs> operate a solar system. Then Star Force survived inside of that black hole like it was nothing. And since he's made of radio waves, he's as fast as light. Though some other EM beings were able to fly from the center of the Milky Way galaxy to Earth in only three days. That's over three million times the speed of light. Star Force even fought EXE once. He technically lost, but he was just holding back to make sure he didn't Marty McFly the future away. But of all his accomplishments, cool. his greatest feat was one that no other Mega Man up until that point had achieved. This world, and this timeline, actually turned out pretty great. All thanks to Star Force. Really? <laughs> it doesn't mean you'll win this battle. See, I knew he was the coolest. Okay, okay. Alright, the combatants no. are set. Run the data through all possibilities. But first, I need a mega <laughs> See, that's what that's why I knew they'd do this best though, because it's still the... Okay, they're gonna do the blue apron. I'm gonna try to get this too. Oh my god, this hurts, because they all have these weird abilities. Like, Omega can turn you into waves, Battle Network can disable robots, and Axe is just supposed to be better than all of them. And, I, and Bullet's probably the weakest out of them all. Well, next to, like, the, the original Mega Man, but oh my god. Oh, this, this, isn't gonna, this isn't gonna be pretty. This is not gonna be pretty. If I had to make an honest guess, like, if I had to actually choose one out of them all, I'm gonna regret this. I'm gonna say Battle Network. I'm gonna say uh, Mega Man. It's not Bull Nut, but uh, e EXE. Mega Man EXE probably has this. If it's not him, then it's probably Mega Man X. If it's not him, it's probably Mega Man Omega. But I'm gonna say I'm gonna say EXE. I'm gonna say EXE has this. I kind of hope it's a tie, actually. It's time for a death oh boy! Somebody help me! Oh, this is oh no. Come on, EXE. You're probably the weirdest looking one of all. Hi! Who are you? Oh, what? They're all just here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, there's no fight. There's no fight scene anymore. Oh, this is weird. Ooh! Dude. Show it again! I am flying. Oh, wait. Oh, knock. oh, oh, oh! Back. What happened to Bullknot? <laughs> Unless she's not here anymore. <laughs> oh no. Oh dude. Yeah, you're like. I knew you definitely would have made. Oh. Uh, push bomb. I didn't do much though. I can't be. There's no way. What is going on? Everyone just is like. <laughs> Run! Super adapter. Oh, and he gets the next armor. Jeez. <laughs> what is this information? Bullcrap. <laughs> Bullnut's like, oh, that's cool stuff like this. Oh dear. Oh, rip Bullnut. Oh no. The only one without a black hole. <laughs> so no. Oh, what's gonna happen? Time stop. What are you gonna do? Oh yeah, you can. 
Oh, with Mega Man. Oh, here goes Bull Knight.
up that way. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> really? <laughs> Black Mega Notes. Okay, it's Black Widow versus Widowmaker. <laughs> this is, uh, this is gonna be interesting. It's Marvel versus Overwatch, but it's a, it's a comic book character versus a, a video game character. That's new. That's, re that's really cool, though. But, oh my god, I can't believe what just happened. <sighs> the fight was so cool, because, like, Mega Man was so desperate. <laughs> Mega Man was so desperate for it. Oh my god, that was awesome. But yeah, uh, I guess, I guess Mega Man EXE, just because he had the power to... Because I, I heard, I heard that he had the power to override other robots. Which is what got me. And then X had the elf, which I, which I for completely forgot about, so I was so at a loss. You know, I guess, I guess, I got lucky, right? I don't, I don't deserve this right guess, but I did get lucky. I called it. So, yay? But, um, oh, that's so sad. It's okay, Meg, it's okay, original Meg, man, you always be my favorite. But, um, and then there's Black Widow versus Widowmaker. Um, oh, boy. I, I have no idea. Just based on, just based on previous death battles and based on what each universe has, I think Black Widow may have an upper hand, but I need to see the results. I need to see the death battle for that. I need to make a, I can't make a guess right now. <laughs> that was a way to introduce it though. But yeah, that was, that was a lot of fun. I, I was, I was spending a good battle and that's what I got. That was really cool. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time.